What up, bro? Archive Nation, y'all already know what it is. This video is gonna be one of many videos, but I'm just gonna go ahead and freestyle this. Um, bottom line, I had to make this video because just to keep it real, um, producers be capping, man. They be lying. Just keep it real, one, man. Lying. Um, and when I say producers be lying, um, it's a lot of producers that's claiming that you know you can make a ton of sales by doing certain things. Now, I'm one for saying that if you uh do it the old fashioned way. I'm a marathon type of person, so I feel like, you know, you know, you may take a little, but if you take a little at a time, it become a lot. And but again, we live in a fast paced world, you know, the internet, you know, everybody wanna be, you know, seen. So, you know, you got people that buy likes and you got people that buy views and you know, I mean there's so many different ways of, of um accumulating um a, a base well i can't even say accumulating the base because even when you when you buy these views or all the likes or comments they're not real people these are bots so with that being said that's just a, a a visual effect so people can see that you have a lot of followers or comments or content or, you, you get what i'm what i'm trying to say bottom line um but you then then you have other things like unless you know click funnels and you know just email marketing in general um, and I've done I've done pretty much everything that you can probably think of when it comes to marketing your music. Um, I was fortunate to have enough money to you know put out ads and and test out so many things. I've spent thousands of dollars on ads, like Facebook ads especially, Google ads not as much. I spent a few hundred on Google ads, but thousands on Facebook ads, especially with the click funnels and stuff like that. Now, I'm just going to break down just numbers in general. So, ClickFunnels, if I'm not mistaken, is $99 a month. Um, and and I'm just using ClickFunnels as an example because there's so many other ways. I don't even use ClickFunnels personally anymore, but there's so many other ways. But let's just say ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels, if I'm not mistaken, is $99. And then you got to accumulate the average beat that's being sold is like $20 to $30, you know, when, it, when it's a lease. So... You gotta think about how much money you have to accumulate just to get that money back from what you're paying monthly on ClickFunnels, which is $99, plus the ads that you're putting out. So you might have to put, let's just say it's $99 for the ClickFunnels, and then you might have to put two, three hundred, four hundred dollars in ads on top of that. So let's just say you're spending like $500 a month, literally on ads and of course on ClickFunnels, and that's not including nothing else. That's not including, you know, I have Mailchimp that I pay for. I have uh everything from sounds.com i mean i have obviously native instruments so i'm always buying new sounds and uh new kits and stuff like that that's not including none of that we just talking about what you would spend on a monthly basis and i've done the math and i'm not saying i'm the best beat maker you know i, I know i ain't the worst beat maker either but do you make sales yes you make sales i think the problem is though that they they I ain't gonna say that they lack and they won't and they don't say because I've heard some people say it. The the ultimate way to make money in this business, and I'm just speaking from exit from just experience. I mean, it's literally to create a fan base. Bottom line, you create yourself a fan base. I mean, I, I think of the the um, the story that Steve Harvey said is that you know when when you get into business and when you start a business, you get your LLC. I'll, I'll say I got it right there. You get your LLC, you proud, you happy. You know what I'm saying? The next thing you think you're thinking of is I, I need to get customers. I need to get people on on to my into my business. And we always thinking about big numbers. We think about hundreds of people already. Even though we just started the business, we have to kind of switch our mind frame from thinking that way to saying, yo, let me just get one person right now. Let me just get one person. Let me cater to that one person. Whoever you know, whatever it takes for that one person. Then after that, I can go to the second person, third person. Next thing you know, you got 10 people. Next thing you know, you got 100 people. So it, it has to get to that point. Is it going to take some time? Yes. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Ain't no shortcuts to this game. I hate to say it. I mean, like I said, I LLC the company Ar Archive Nation in 2015. Uh, we in 2022. So it just, and, and I want to say, <laughs> I keep it real. I always tell the story too. Um, so we LLC the company in 2015. I didn't sell my first beat until 2017. That was the first time I sold a beat when I, and it was through LinkedIn. It was out of all social medias. It was through LinkedIn. So I say that to say this: start with just putting, you know, your beat visuals up, putting stuff out on different platforms, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, 
Twitter, wherever it's at, wherever your platform is at, that you're comfortable with, especially. Let me say that because that's important. Um, I would say focus on that. Focus on getting as much people, especially with coronavirus and everything that's going on right now. It's hard for you to mingle because I would say that would be the next thing to do. You want to do both of them in conjunction with each other. Like you want to be on the internet as well as you want to be, you know, out and about meeting and greeting with people. I'm in the A, so that's what we were doing as much as possible, especially before Corona happened. So I would advise more people to go ahead and and try to mingle as much as possible on on the internet due to the fact that you can't mingle as much. You can go out, but not as much as you would like, put it like that. So uh, in a safe, in a safe way, put it like that. So that be the first thing I would say. I, and I had to make this video because I was seeing a lot of producers I, and I should have been, probably made this video a couple of months ago, to be honest, because I was seeing a lot of producers that was kind of making it seem like it was just this easy thing to kind of do. If you did this and did this, then you make it. Before you even get ClickFunnels, because I do believe it's a good platform to have, but it's expensive. And I really think that ClickFunnels is for, if you're making about five grand a month, I think ClickFunnels is dope because you can you can build. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a funnel. So you can constantly keep building. You know, you already have your basis getting you the revenue that's coming in. And then I would get, I would use that same revenue to, to expand it and get more people to get onto my platform to get into the funnel. So that's pretty much how I would do it personally. Um, and that's how I was doing it. I, I, you know, again, I wasn't doing it onto the mass levels of anybody else that was using click funnels. I mean, you kept getting, I mean, again, if you set it up right, you got a, a good funnel, you, yo, you can make a killing. I'm not saying that before. I, a lot of upcoming producers that it, it's already enough to spend. You know, it's over, you're already spending a grip for the, you know, for the studio equipment, let alone for promoting the shit and getting it out there. So don't let people fool you into thinking that, oh, it's gonna be that that easy. You know what I'm saying? Start off basic. You don't need no, you don't even need half of this fucking equipment. I'm just gonna keep it real 100 with you. You know, I mean, you just need you don't even need a, a, a beat machine. I would say get a keyboard if anything. Obviously, get get your decent computer and then just, I mean, everything is digital now, so you don't even need. Anything else but just some software, get some good software, whether it's native, whether it's, you know, um, NPC or whatever, you know, that you work with as far as your door. Um, and then just go from there, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I had to make this video. I didn't want to make it long, but at the same time, I had to make it because I was just tired of seeing people that was just making it seem like it was going to be super easy. I've made thousands of dollars doing this. I'm blessed doing this. You know, I, I don't work full time as much as I did. Um, and I'm still in the mix of trying to get the other foot out the door. So with that being said, I'm I feel like I've made it to a point where I'm comfortable where I'm at. I'm comfortable with my you know my surroundings. I can make money at um at all times. I make money at all times, whether it's at night or in the day, whether it's passive a lot of the times. So I'm in a blessed spot. But at the same time, you know, I had to go ahead and, and put this video up because I was tired of seeing people capping on online real talk. So keep keep um going. Um, it's, it's a marathon, so don't look at it like it's gonna be a quick thing. Build as much as possible. If someone's liking your post, yo, hit them up. That's I, I will follow up on all my posts in the sense of you know liking everything that they like, or, or not liking everything that they like, but you know appreciating they you know them liking my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Make it make some type of relationship to the point where you could you know y'all can go back and forth and then help them on the project if because most likely they're artists so you know be like look yo i slide you this or you know help you with this or give you a discount for this you know what i'm saying this kind of kind of you know uh uh break the ice in a sense you know what i'm saying um and and kind of use social media to your benefit get an email uh get a number shit at this point you know at, you know what i'm saying i also got community um which is a uh it's a number that they give you it's a textable number that they give you and then you can give that to all your artists as well so i'm you know i i, I do that so you gotta gotta kind of mix it up a little bit emails is good i love both um if, if it was me up to me i would text is always better than email but if you could do both even better you know what i'm saying because you got a lot of old school cats that ain't gonna give their number out you got a lot of new school cats that give their number out but don't care too much about the emails they don't really check so you want to have both um, like I said, I didn't want to make this long. Um, it's probably up in this mug. Y'all already know how I do. Got a beat that I'm cooking up, man. Um, haven't finished it up. Um, actually, me and K Pro was uh, working on it. Um, probably finish it up if not tonight, then tomorrow. But y'all already know what it is, man. Like I said, we're making more of these videos. Um, and, and look, man, it is what it is, man. Keep, keep going. That's all I got to say. 
keep going, keep going. Don't let no one um stop your shine. Don't let no one you know uh, stop your dreams. Real talk, man. It's Rob. I'm out this mother. Y'all already know. Hey.